Welcome to the Alexander Technique self-help procedure of constructive rest, also commonly known as the lie down. Sit on the floor with your legs out in front of you. Place a couple of paperback books behind you to go under your head. You may choose to have a couple books of varying heights so that the height can be adjusted for your individual needs. Notice your sit bones supported by the floor. Think about the top of the spine, in between your ears, and behind your nose. Look down your nose until you can see the highest point on your sternum or chest that you can see comfortably. Now let the weight of the head release forward as you allow your hips to release back into your back so that you are in a slight fetal-like curvature. Allow your torso to follow the weight of your head as it releases forward with gravity towards your legs. Breathing out, release at the hip joints and unroll onto the floor with the back of your head resting on the books behind you. If this movement is not desirable for you, you can go down onto the floor on your side from the seated position. To do this, use one of your hands for support and then roll onto your back, placing the books underneath the back of your head. Now that we are on the floor, let's check the height of the books. If the book height is too low, your head will feel like it is falling back and down towards the floor. If the book height is too high, you will feel choked in the throat. Bend your legs at the knee so that the knees are pointing up towards the ceiling. Check that your feet are hip to shoulder width apart and that the feet are at a comfortable distance from your pelvis, not too far away and not too tucked close to the pelvis, causing excess tension in the legs. If your feet feel like they are slipping, you may choose to do this on a carpet or use a yoga mat or blanket. If your knees feel as if they are falling outward to either side, you can rest your knees in towards each other. Your arms are bent with your elbows out to either side with your hands resting on your torso, on the ribs, abdomen, or pelvis, creating a restful position for the joints of the arms. You can also explore the options of your hands down by your sides or the arms out with the palms facing up. Periodically, you will hear pauses so that you can think about what has just been said. This is a thinking procedure. We are going to begin by noticing the support of the floor. Allow the floor to support your body weight instead of just thinking that you are laying on top of the floor. Notice the head resting on the books, which are underneath the back of your skull, right under the occiput not touching the neck. Let's travel down to the back now and notice both shoulder blades, the right one and the left one, both supported by the floor. We are now going to notice both elbows, the right elbow and the left. Again, allow the support of the floor to come up to meet the body. Lower down in the back now, you may notice different parts of your back touching. But let's think about the pelvis at the moment, the right and the left side, both supported by the floor. Now let's think about both feet, the right and the left foot, and allow the floor to support them both. Coming back up to the head and the neck, let's pause in our thinking and allow the neck to be free so the head can really rest into the support of the books.
Let's notice now the top of the spine, in between the ears and behind the nose. This is where the backbone meets the head at the underside of the skull. We're going to think about allowing for space here so that the head is not being pulled down towards the rest of the body. We are going to think neck free so that the head releases up and away from the rest of the torso and the legs in the direction out along the floor since we are horizontal. Again, allow the head to rest into the support of the books, allowing the neck to be free. Let's now bring our awareness to our shoulders. Think about the right shoulder releasing to the right. This includes the collarbone and the shoulder blade releasing into the floor along with gravity and releasing out towards the right. Now the left shoulder. Think about releasing the collarbone and the shoulder blade into the floor and out to the left. Allow gravity to help your shoulders rest into the back and into the floor. Now let's travel down to the middle of the back. Notice the ribs touching the floor. Allow the breath to be free and the ribs to move. Notice your breath coming and going through the nostrils. Allow the muscles running along the spine to release so that your back can rest into the support of the floor. Again, we are going to come back to the neck and the head. Allow the neck to be free so that the head can release up on the top of the spine, in between the ears and behind the nose, releasing at that joint, the atlanto-occipital joint. Pause in your thinking. Allow the neck to be free so that the head can release up on the top of the spine out along the floor and in the direction towards the crown of the head as the neck releases. Remind your shoulder blades that they are swimming in muscle. Think about the muscles around them softening so that the shoulder blades can release into the floor and away from each other. You can also think about the muscles around the sternum and chest area opening and releasing to allow the shoulders to release from your center and into the back and into the floor. At any time during the lie down, and especially if you feel that the neck has released a good bit, you can bring your fingers up to the books without tensing your shoulders and gently slide them away from you, allowing for greater length in the neck. Let's visit the lower back now and allow it to soften between the pelvis and rib cage. You may think of some butter melting in a pan or some chocolate melting, allowing the lower back muscles to release any hold on the lower ribs or the back of the pelvis. Allow the lower back to soften so that gravity can help it release any excess curvature as it releases into the floor. Allow the pelvis to release and unwind away from the legs and the knees and into the back. Again, we are going to stop in our thinking to allow the neck to be free so that the head can release up on the top of the spine and towards the crown of the head. Let's think about the legs now. Think of the right leg releasing at the hip joint releasing the upper leg towards the knee from the hip joint to the kneecap and allow the knee to release towards the ceiling. Invite the lower leg now to soften between the ankle and the knee 
so that the lower leg can release into length and up towards the ceiling. Thinking about the right foot, allow the heel to release into the floor, back and down from the ankle. Allow the arch of the foot to release from the heel towards the ball of the foot. And allow the toes to unwind like little corkscrews away from the heel, softening up through the shin to the right knee. On the left leg now, we are going to release at the hip joint, softening those muscles around the hip socket. Allow the upper leg to release into length from the hip joint to the kneecap and also from the ankle to the knee, allowing the calf and shin to soften. Think of the foot releasing into the floor and into length, with the heel releasing back and down from the ankle. Think of releasing from the heel towards the ball of the foot through the arch, and again, allow the toes of the left foot to soften and release and unwind like corkscrews away from the heel, softening up through the left shin to the knee. Again, think of both knees releasing up towards the ceiling. We are again going to remind ourselves to stop and let the neck be free so that the head can release up and away from the shoulders. This up direction is parallel to the floor since we are horizontal and also includes releasing towards the crown of the head as the neck releases into length. Now let's bring our awareness to our arms. Let's think about releasing the right arm between the shoulder and the elbow, and even releasing in the right armpit. Allow gravity to rest the upper arm and elbow onto the floor. Let's think about releasing the right forearm into length between the elbow and the wrist. Allow the hand to release from the wrist all the way to the fingertips and allow the hand to be wide from the thumb all the way to the pinky. Notice the texture of your clothing and allow the hand and fingers to soften into that material. Now let's think about the left arm. Think about releasing the left upper arm from the shoulder and the armpit all the way to the elbow. We are going to allow the upper arm to release into length and the forearm as well, from the elbow to the wrist. Think of releasing the fingers also from the wrist to the fingernails and allow the hand to be wide from the thumb to the pinky. Notice the texture of your clothing and allow the hand and fingers to soften into your shirt or pants wherever your hands are placed. Think about allowing the muscles of the face to soften around the eyes, in the forehead, in the cheeks, and around the mouth. Allow your jaw to float above your throat Think of letting your tongue be wide and long as you let it soften all the way down into the throat and allow it to rest behind the lower teeth in the base of the mouth. Again, stop and notice the floor support. Allow the neck to be free and the head to release up on the top of the spine. Think up from the tailbone all the way to the crown of the head. 
Allow the back and arms to release into the floor as the knees release up to the ceiling and the feet release into the floor. In a moment, we are going to get up, but first, we're going to realize the support of the floor again and rest. It is important that we do not do an ab crunch or rush to get up off the floor. Notice what even knowing that you're going to get up off the floor does to your body. Again, rest into the support of the floor. Without moving yet, continue with that restful thought as you choose a side to roll to. Look in that direction and allow the head to follow and rotate on the top of the spine allowing your hair to move on the books. Go ahead and let your head roll, not into a slant, but rotating on the top of the spine to now be facing in the direction you've chosen to roll to. Now with your hand farthest away from where you are looking, gently lead with the fingers as you bring your arm across the body and roll onto your side. You can leave your head on the books or support it with the other arm. Take your time and let your breath be free as you use the hand that came across your body to gently push yourself up to a seated position. You can also come onto your hands and knees if you would prefer. Gradually come up to standing without holding your breath. Now is an important time to notice what is different from doing the lie down. Continue to let your neck be free and think up from the floor to the crown of your head as you go thoughtfully into your day.